Hey everyone, Autumn Leaf here and today is going to be a cooking video. We're going to do the strawberry pretzel dessert. I'm sure you've seen that everywhere. Usually you see them on Facebook pop up and they have a couple different ways that they do them and I'm sure they're all fine and good. So we're going to start with this one. The first thing I've did is you preheat your oven to 400 degrees. So I have that turned on while I do the bottom layer which is going to be the pretzels. So any pretzels will do and you're going to need around two cups here. Let me make sure my recipe doesn't leave me two cups of crushed pretzels. So that's probably going to be at least four before we crush it. So I'm going to use this Ziploc bag to kind of contain it. But you don't want to close it all the way because that will make an air vacuum and when you start to pound it you're just going to pop a hole in it. So I do it like this and I have my little tenderizer and you're just going to break these up. This is something fun the kids like to do. And you don't want them to be so finely crushed that it looks like you've made flour. You just want to break them up good. So here is what it looks like. Let's see if we have two cups crushed. Oh um, yeah, pretty close. Put it on there to see. Uh, I think I'm gonna do a few more. The pretzel layer, I think, is kind of like the best part. I don't know. If you've never had this, definitely try it because it is amazing. It is one of my absolute favorite desserts. It's really good during the summer when strawberries are in season. And it's a cold dessert. And it's very pretty. And it is very simple, really. It doesn't take very many ingredients. All right, so there, we got a good, healthy two cups of crushed pretzels. All right, so now I need a bowl. Well, actually, I'm just gonna use this because this will be big enough. All right, so into this, we're gonna put three tablespoons of sugar. three. You just kind of mix this up. And you're going to put in about three-fourths a cup of butter. Now I'm actually using salted butter, but you can use regular butter, margarine, whatever you have on hand. then it's going to be a little bit more watery when you melt it. But it's fine. I have did it both ways. It's perfectly fine. Whatever you have on hand. I don't think it tastes that different. So you're going to coat this really well. You're going to have the sugar and the butter and the crumbs in there. Now I'm using a disposable cake pan because we're actually going to take this to a dinner this evening but you can use any kind of pan that you want you know like a 9 by 13 I'm not real sure what size this one is so dump this out All right. spread it out 
and you're going to pack this down. It's a lot like if you do a graham cracker crust for a cheesecake. It should be like that. And this actually feels pretty good. Might be a little on the dry side. I might melt a little bit more butter, but it's holding pretty good. I don't know, maybe I won't, because it looks good. All right, so what you're going to do now is in your 400 degree oven, we're going to put this in there for eight to 10 minutes. Because this is kind of thick, it might take the whole 10 minutes. And when we're done, we'll come back and we'll take a look at it. Okay, we're back. So I let this go for 10 minutes. And you can see it just kind of got a little bit of a darker brown. It's still kind of loose. And it should have been a little bit tighter. So I think I need a little bit more butter, but we're going to go with it. So while this is cooling, we're going to do the next layer. So I'm going to actually just set this to the side. And we'll go with the cream cheese layer. So in here we're going to need uh, one packet of eight ounces of cream cheese softened, preferably. And I'm always making sure I'm telling you the exact right amounts because I'm so used to just throwing stuff in the bowl. One cup of sugar. Pow pow. We're going to whip this up into a frenzy. So that has mixed until it's nice and creamy and we're going to put in an eight ounce of whipped topping. Hey mommy. Uh-uh honey. Is this mommy? No. Of course my I want to lick the beaters has showed up. You want to fold this in. So let me actually get a good butter spatula. What's this mommy? It's cream cheese and sugar. And this would do a little bit better if it, I gave it a little more time to kind of soften. But this is straight out of the freezer. So I'm just going to kind of mush it a little bit to get it a little softer. And then we'll start working this in. Any time in my house that you hear a cake mixer going off, I have little kids running around. It doesn't matter if it's a dessert I'm making or something else. They think they need to lick the beaters. Alright. So you see how nice and smooth this is getting? This is what you want. You want it to be nice and smooth. really good. All 
All right, that looks pretty good. It looks like it's in there good. Now, you want to spread this onto the cold pretzel crust. And my pretzel crust has a few more minutes before it's cooled. If you want to rush the process, you can put that crust in the refrigerator or freezer. Once that gets cooled off, we'll come back and we'll go to our spreading this out and then I'll show you how to do the last layer. All right, we're gonna start with the last layer. My crust hasn't cooled yet. I'm gonna check it here in just a little bit. But the next thing you wanna do, you wanna get two cups of water, get that up to a boiling consistency, which I have done. Here's my boiling water. You can see the steam. And what we're going to put in here, you're supposed to have two 10-ounce bags of frozen strawberries. I couldn't find two 10-ounce bags. I found a 16-ounce bag, and I think that'll be just fine. I think you can go however you wish with this. So, you also need two 3-ounce of the strawberry gelatin. Now, I have seen recipes that use other flavors like raspberry or cherry. So don't feel like you are stuck with just strawberry. I personally would think strawberry would be the best because this is a strawberry dessert. But I love raspberry and blackberry is my absolute favorite fruit. So I probably would like that as well. Alright, so even though this water is not bubbling, I assure you it is at boiling temperature. We're going to throw those two in there. And you're going to let this dissolve, which doesn't take that long because the water's still nice and hot. I'm going to get a different. I like to use a wooden spoon. All right, so that's dissolving. Once this dissolves, we're going to put in the frozen strawberries. Yes, you want frozen strawberries because that's going to help this gel like it's supposed to. Once we put that in here and stir it in, you're going to let it set for a little bit until it becomes the consistency of egg whites. Which pretty much means it's going to be a little gelled. It's not going to be runny like this is like pure liquid. It's going to be thicker. Well, I went across the line, and don't you just love packaging? All right, I have no nails whatsoever, so I'm just going to use a knife here. Now, you can use whole strawberries, sliced strawberries, chopped strawberries, doesn't matter. I have the whole strawberries. Okay. Any of them is fine. I'm just going to stir those in. And this is such a pretty dessert when you get it all done with the brown and the bright white and the dark red. It is so pretty. All right, so these cold strawberries is starting to get that jello what it's supposed to do and thicken up. Rebecca, give the puppy his toy and stuff. Okay, I think my graham crackers are done. So I'm going to pull them out. Alright, I actually put these in the refrigerator to let them cool while I did the jello part and they are cooled off. Now we're going to take our whipped topping and spread this over it. I'm just kind of letting it smear. And then I'm going to go back over it and make it nice and smooth. Get down. 
Rebecca, please leave the puppy alone. I'm going to get a knife to try to help smooth this down. There we go. You want this to go all the way around and be a nice seal around the edges. You want it to seal everything in. I'll show you why here in a minute. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm paying attention to this edge and making sure we get it nice and covered up here. Probably should have got a bigger knife like I think I picked the worst knife but I'm not so prepared when I do videos it's kind of like oh I'm making this thing I love and I really want to get a video of it you know I do these videos for my kids but if it helps someone else out that is wonderful but I want them when they're 50 to say hey look this is how mom did it. All right, so going through and making sure everything is nice and sealed. There's no holes anywhere. Doesn't have to be perfectly smooth, doesn't have to be perfectly flat, but you do need to make sure that your holes are filled out. And your edges are nice and sealed. So that looks really good, actually. Okay. Now, let's see how these strawberries are doing. Yeah. You can kind of see how it kind of has some gel on the strawberries. You might not be able to. But as you're moving it, you're going to see it's going to be liquidy, but you're going to start seeing that the jello is starting to set. And it's kind of, it's going to be like slimy. That's a good word for it. It's going to be slimy. Like you're going to see the slime consistency. Like there, you see how it's gelled up. It's kind of glopping off of the spoon instead of running off like it did earlier. All right, so now you have this nice and sealed. We're going to pour the strawberries on top of it. Now, if you didn't have this sealed, the strawberries would go to the bottom and it would make the pretzel soggy. And it wouldn't be pretty when you cut it apart and it wouldn't taste as good. So you've got to make that layer perfect. And then we just slowly pour this on. Get all this good stuff out. All right. We're going to spread this around. Just like the last thing, we want to make sure that we get it all over everything. And I want to move some of these strawberries around so they're not all in the middle. I want some out on the edges here. Get over there. Isn't this pretty? It is like so colorful. 
that red just pops against that white. Got a little bit there. I'm going to put it over here. So you don't have to work really super fast, but you do kind of have a time limit. Like this is starting to get really gelled up to where it's making it hard to work with. And you don't want to put holes in it. That looks really good. I think we got it. Okay. All right, now you're going to take this and you're going to put this in the refrigerator. You want this to set for a couple hours before you serve it. Um, I would say at least two hours. It can definitely go longer. Like if you want to do four, six hours, you can do it to the next day if you want. Um, but at least two hours, that lets the um, cream cheese set really good because it'll get chilled and then it'll let your jello get really chilled. Unfortunately, because I am taking this to uh, dinner, I'm not going to be able to cut into it and show you what it looks like unless I happen to snag a picture on my phone and I'm able to link that on here somehow. But if you get online, you'll definitely see it. You'll have the beautiful um, pretzel crust, the white cream cheese, and the strawberry on top. You'll see the layers. It cuts really great. It's all nice and firmed up. It's not uh, runny or anything like that. Definitely give this a try. I think you'll really like it. So until next time, bye. And if there's any recipe out there that you want to see me make, make sure you leave a comment below. I'll look into it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.